In this video, we're going to take a look at representing total revenue on a graph. So the first thing we'll do is give the formula for total revenue, which is price times quantity. And when we represent it on the graph, we're going to have to start with P star, right, which is going to be our per unit price. Then we multiply it by how many units we've sold. So we multiply P star by Q star, and then we get the area of this square or this rectangle here, which is all in orange. This area represents our total revenue. Now, when we have different demand curves, the shape will look different, but we're gonna focus on the changes and how those are represented on a demand curve. So let's move ahead. Focus with me for a second on the top demand curve, which is inelastic. And we're gonna see what happens when P star increases from, when price increases from P star to P1. So if you follow P star across the demand curve and we drop down, we go to Q star, so we understand P star Q star is our total revenue. But when the price goes up to P1, P1 Q1 becomes our new area for our total revenue. And this green area is our gain in revenue. And this pink area is our loss in revenue. And the way I figured that out is that I looked at the new area for P1 Q1. And I looked at how it increased vertically and what we lost horizontally. All right, well, let's now do the same thing with an elastic demand curve. If we start with our price of P star, we go across to the demand curve and drop down. Our total revenue is P star Q star. But by dropping price to P1, we get this tremendous gain here in quantity sold of Q1. So our new total revenue area is going to be P1 Q1, an addition horizontally of this green area, but we lose this pink area vertically. But you'll notice that the gain is much more significant than the loss. And in both instances, we're better off in the second scenario than we are with P star. And you'll see that for inelastic demand, increasing price increases total revenue. And for elastic demand, decreasing price increases total revenue. And if you're not sure how this works, try it step by step on your own. Draw a diagram, whether inelastic or elastic. Put in a price P star. Take that across to the demand curve and down to something, some output level Q star. Then color in your total revenue and then change the price, whether increase or decrease, and see what happens to total revenue. You should be familiar with what happens to total revenue when demand is elastic or inelastic. And you should also know what firms should do to increase or decrease total revenue and how they do that by adjusting price.